guys, so this is something different. I this time used a black pen to start with before I colored it with watercolors. This is our reference photo. I found it on Pixabay website and this is a sketch. It is available for download on Patreon. If you would like to see classes with voiceovers, please go to Patreon and here are swatches, colors that I use for this painting. Watercolor paper is rough watercolor paper, 156 pounds. You can as well paint this lamp on cold pressed, 140 pounds. I just like rough watercolor papers because of the texture. And I only used one brush, round eight, Black Velvet Series by Silver Brush. I like this brush because it has a nice pointy long end, but you can use any other brush, even size six or 10, whatever is comfortable. You just want to have that pointy end. And if your larger brush don't have that pointy end, you can just use a smaller brush. This is a screenshot of my palette. I like you to know what colors are placed where on my palette. Palette. Now, the first thing I did was a sketch. And now, using a black pen, I am covering those sketch lines. So I'm drawing again, in a way, over my pencil lines, but with that black pen. This is a pen that I got on eBay, actually. It was meant for watercolor papers, so it has a nice pointy end as well. You don't have to go in the exact areas that your sketch is, just the overall idea of the lamp. So I'm kind of going slow uh, and adding all the lines. Sometimes I'm adding extra lines. I just want like a, a sketch made with a black pan so I can color it later with watercolors. You do want to have a, a pan, a black pan, that it's not going to be dissolved in water. So it's not going to be disturbed once you start applying water and uh, watercolors. You want that pan to be waterproof. So make sure you have that and that you can actually draw on a watercolor paper. So however you want to go over with that pan is totally fine. You don't have to go exactly in the same spots like I said earlier. The idea is to paint over this with watercolors and it's going to be a lot of it wet on wet and what wet on wet means is that you're first wetting the area and then you're applying paint if you would like there's a free class in my school on teachable free watercolor tips and i explain all the techniques i have also just shared published a class it's a class for beginners it's everything there's basics so it's a very easy class to take. It takes a couple hours, but there's a lot of fun exercises and I am explaining all the techniques, wet and wet, wet and dry, and also how to avoid mistakes such as blooms. These are the colors that I am using to apply paint wet on wet. Some parts are going to be applied wet on dry and wet on dry is when you apply paint onto a dry surface. So I'm just adding colors here, actually wet on dry. So the paint disperses so it's moving uh so in that area that that pole actually first i colored it with a very pale wash of van Dyck brown and then i added more color wet on wet so a lot of it like i said is wet on wet but then parts started wet on dry but once your area is already wet it becomes wet on wet anyways. So here you wanna add different colors, you wanna mix colors as you go, burnt sienna, yellow ochre, uh, of course there's some of the gold that I always add into my paint. Um, so there's some shimmer to it as well. I added neutral tint for the darker tones. I want to remember uh, to preserve some of the lighter tones. Uh, we go from light to dark with watercolors and watercolor paintings. So we don't want to lose the light. We want to have some highlights and then darker colors. There's some of those blues. I'm adding them around the, the light bulb area. It's not going to be perfectly painted like I normally would just wet the entire thing and go next to the edges and I would just paint the whole thing, the, the light bulb, wet on wet just so it's all soft. Here I am omitting some of these areas. I'm preserving some of that light. So it's a very much loose style. This is way looser than I normally 
paint the lamps like this. Uh, I do have a couple videos uh, how to paint lamps and they're much detailed. Uh, I spent probably an hour, an hour and a half painting them. This is a quick painting. The overall took me probably 20 minutes to finish this. And that was the idea to make a quick painting of this lamp to not spend too much time on it. And of course, the difference is that I am using here a black pan, a black marker, because I wanted to uh, have that sketch visible. And of course, I did this also because I want this to be easier, an easier painting overall. And I think when we see these lines from the start, like they don't disappear, uh, like if we had a sketch made just with a pencil, it's much easier to uh, paint along. So these are the darker uh, colors, the darker tones, which is mostly a neutral tint. There's some Van Dyke brown. So just adding colors and we can add another layer later uh, once we let the first layer dry and so on. So you don't want to focus on too much detail. If you would like to see voiceovers, like videos with voiceovers, classes, please go to Patreon and you can subscribe over there. You can cancel anytime you want. You can even cancel two hours later. There is voiceovers now. It's a new thing on Patreon. Before I didn't have voiceovers, now I have voiceover classes. And of course, there's also Teachable full classes, full on classes. The difference between Patreon and Teachable is that with my Patreon videos, so I add voiceovers to already recorded classes, while on Teachable with my classes, I talk while I am painting. So I record myself talking while I am painting, which is why those classes are much longer. And on Patreon, it's much easier for me to do voiceovers because I'm recording my voice afterwards. So I am uh, talking along like what I'm doing and just giving actually a lot of thoughts to it. So that's the difference. So if you would like to uh, join the community on Patreon, here's the website and you can also find a link underneath this video. Don't forget to let it dry if you want to add another layer. Uh, so this is going to be wet and dry now and I am doing this to add more vibrancy. So I hope you're enjoying this video and I will see you around guys. Thank you so much.